they're beautiful people. So our card of the day is the Nine of Wands, which is a card I call the Wounded Healer because he's this obviously wounded guy, bandaged up, very looking weary at those fiery eight wands behind him. And the weariness is because he's been hurt in the past. We all have been hurt at different times in the past. And and we kind of get triggered a little bit by other people's fire in some ways. And when we have excuses to interact with other people in relationships, whether it's work or family or whatever it is, or just simple interactions with people, we, we, have, these, we, we have these autopilot responses a lot of the time that will often trigger us to push, push ourselves beyond what are our healthy boundaries and push ourselves without complete consent to go beyond what we think or feel is really good for us and yet we won't notice that we won't take time out to feel into our bodies and really appreciate what our limits are appreciate where we should be and shouldn't be in our lives and so i'd like to do a little exercise this is not really an exercise actually to that that's that's that is for a whole day because you can't really do an exercise of boundaries for a whole day this is a simple practice that i want to show you when you feel like there's something a little bit weird and your boundaries are maybe being pushed so somebody comes up and asks you hey do you want to come and uh, help me i don't know fix my roof or paint my house or clean or help me move out and uh, do whatever it is that somebody oh would you like to come for a cup of coffee or oh, hey would you like to come and uh, come for dinner whatever it is you know we get these invitations in, in our relationship a work one for example is your boss saying hey can you do this extra work and can we can we um try and fit this in before three o'clock today hmm. and there is a question there there is a question where obviously somebody is invested in in the answer they want you to say yes a lot of the time they want you to come and help them they want you to do this extra bit of work they want you to push yourself a little bit too far they want you to stretch yourself now sometimes we're really happy about these choices and we go yes i'd love to come wonderful yes no problem i'm in the flow i can do that work and other times we're not. And if we've been that yes man, yes woman, or even that no man and no woman, for whatever reason in the past, and it has helped us, then we're naturally going to fit into that mold again say yes even more or no even more and we'll find that we will abuse our own boundaries quite easily and this will cause us to have an experience which is not very pleasant because every time we do that we find ourselves living outside of what would be a normal consensual relationship with ourselves so here's the practice when somebody asks you something in your life, when somebody asks you for something, somebody asks you to do something, somebody asks if you want something, instead of having an automatic response that says yes straight away or no straight away, ask for five seconds, ask for a half a minute, ask for a little bit of time to make that decision. If it's a question that somebody throws you over text, it's even easier. So you have a text question coming in, you have a message from, from your work colleague and they ask you something and check in with yourself. Close your eyes. It's called a 20 second check in. Breathe deeply. Feel your body and feel what your body speaks to you and what it says to you about this
question about this offer, about this request. Deep breaths, 20 seconds, 30 seconds minimum. Often in life, the answer isn't just a black and white yes or no. It could be a yes, but actually it's going to take a little bit more time. Yes, but I can only do Tuesday at three o'clock. Yes, but, and you need, we need to feel into our own conditions. And sometimes we don't feel right about saying yes right here, right now, which is completely fine but maybe in the future we can see that yes this would be a good thing for me in the future and it will does feel like a heart centered decision and this is the important part connect to your heart feel that your decision is something that comes from uh, a positive uplifting ex <sighs> or anticipation or experience because we have to grab our wand we have to be creative in the way that we choose to we're going to have to say yes and no to many different people all the time our children our parents our, or our whoever and sometimes we need to just m twist a little bit the offer or the request so that it is convenient and so that it is within our boundaries and within our consent try this 20 30 second breathing into your body ask your body to feel into the question before you take any answers have a great day I hope this is a good practice for you